Back again, this section will be medical heart disease in my book and stuff. Normally, I usually just have a legit heart here because I bought it to cook and stuff and show y'all yeah, what's what with it, but no. Or uh, there are certain sites where you can buy pigs heart to go to, but you have to properly know how to dispose of it and you have to prove that you do. I have my bunch of medical qualifications to do so and the ability to dispose it. And the best thing to do with that is just buy a hazmat, a hazardous box with plastic and all that stuff and just buy ice and keep that in there until you're ready to dispose it. Usually you go to the buy your waste site here. I did it in Alaska and I, when I stayed in Texas, I did it there. I did it in California. I did it in, when I stayed in Bismarck and Grand Forks and I did it in Florida. New York is another situation. New York is hard to do that bullcrap. Usually when I bought my stuff, I had to go to school to one of the college that there's a spoiler or stuff like that, but whatever. Uh, Y'all know that I had a $15,000 mechanical engineering book. 15000 not 1500 15000 It's a book I made. Um, I put it on eBay because that's the semester was ending. And someone's going to pay thirty grand for the book. I'm like, okay, that's a good deal. There's some fun 40 grand. I'm like, hold on, I can't do this. Okay, I heard I took it out. That book had everything from generals to practicals, then generals to practicals, and every pr generals there was a practical, then RL to freshmen, and then practicals, then generals and cores, and then senior, then generals, participant cores, over and over and over again. The book was huge, it was like a 10 freaking book page. So yeah, total douchebags from stealing my stuff. It's a good thing the book had the ability to come apart. Mother finger prick. It's a good thing I have my genetic books or my chemical book. But anyway, on to the subject of heart disease. You all know what heart disease are. It's anything that deal with hearts. You can look at my other videos. You have seen it. Now. I'm gonna get a copyright infringement work quick. Don't call me on it. Copyright infringement is copyright is when you taking the work as for someone else and you using it as yours and making money. Infringement is when you are breaking the laws of the ability to use the using someone else's work. As you know, this video is at the moment of time. It can be and cannot be for making money at the same time because A, I bought this book for my money. I can copy the book myself at the time I want. B, it's just a page so you have no idea where the book coming from. And C, disclaimer, educational purpose for this section right here anyway. Ugh. We are in a coronary heart disease. This is when the coronary of the body is infected with other cancer or dystrophy or myocytum periodontum bullcrap. Yeah, bullcrap term. Right I'm going to change it. But anyway, the main topic today is arthritis, which is the the electrical system in your body. It's when your heart electrical system is having the disturbance where you have a murmur, basically. I have runner's murmur, meaning that my blood pressure can be 60 over 30 and I'll still be fine. That's what happens when you run and swim a lot. Basically, what this coming kind of will come out with, with fitness is... When you work out, you're not working out to continuously work out. You're working out so you can do things that you can't normally do without straining yourself. Workouts to make things that you can't do without straining yourself easier than normal. Reason why some people die at 30 if those are natural ones under 30, which I don't believe is natural. There's a such thing called suicide note or heart stopping note, but whatever. Diet like on a dirty is because they have uh, a biological clock that ran out basically. So when you work out, you're not working out to keep working out, you're working out to not work out. 
what I mean by that is you want your heart rate to slow normal every day. When you run, your heart rate will beat so fast, you are racing your ball off the car, but when you stop, your heart rate will come back normal. Let's say your heart rate beat 140, okay, and after you're done running, your heart rate is now being at 80, which is normal. The next day, after you recover, you've been doing it for a while, now your normal heart rate is 60, and when you do those activities 80, even though you can get up to 120 at any time, even though know, you can get up to 400, which is the max limit, it's basically your maximum has now become your normal. That's the whole purpose of working out or stuff like that. Then, people who work out don't live longer than people who don't work out. There's some people who just been smoking their whole life and live to 110. And there's people who've been working out diet 40, but then, then, you have a higher number of people living a longer lifespan, so whatever. This is heart disease. The periocardium, periocardium is a skin sac around the heart itself. It's what's the word for it? It's the sac that hangs around your heart, attached to the walls of your lungs and valves. Inside that periocardium sac, your heart is lubricated between the heart and the sac itself, which causes your heart to slide up and down. Easy, just a thin layer of membrane. It's for the sole purpose of not allowing your heart to touch the external systems of the ribs and lungs itself. Only thing that's touching your lung is the pulmonary orte, the orte, and the supravena cavae, and stuff like that. Pretty much it. Yeah, I'm gonna get real complicated. It's very really best I just do a screen video of it.